Hello everyone, today's video is dedicated to the uh, celebration, <laughs> let's say, of the 200th uh, videos. I, I, I did, I, I, did uh, I think I will do this uh, every 100th uh, video. Um, if anything, because I realized that, that there are now enough people who are following me um, just yesterday across the, um, the say, the soil of, of 100 subscribers, so um, I think that um, doing, I don't know, every 100 video uh, sort of uh, um, uh, to this, uh, sort of summarizing the situation and how it's going, it's also useful for, for people who follow me. And um, first of all, I would, li I would like to thank really anyone who has been um, watching me, um, particularly my followers, but uh, in general, um, every second you watch from my videos, is, it's really important for me because just the fact that you click on them, um, I think, has some some importance that goes beyond. I mean, I personally don't care whether you follow my videos. I mean, I don't make it a, a personal thing. Um, every uh, as soon as I um, got on YouTube, I, uh, as I, I I I surely didn't care about this. I mean, I don't need attention <laughs> for myself. But there is obviously a reason why I do make these videos, and uh, since they're essentially, uh, as you understand, all historically themed, to me it's very, very meaningful that I have people who watch them. Uh, because aside my personal interests, um, really the first thing I care about is uh, about um, spreading um, historical awareness. Um, I can't say to teach history because it's kind of uh, arrogant to say, uh, and I never, as you know, I never considered my my videos as lessons. Is it? It's, it's anything like my monologues that, however, should be considered as sort of dialogues, also with you through the combats or maybe through certain video responses. That are obviously my, my channel is not popular enough to to get those, but um, in general, I think that. Um, everything I say is is just um, it's mostly disclosure, as I often say. Um, you realize that of all the topics I discuss, I'm rarely uh, a true expert. I mean, I, I document myself before each video, but um, <coughs> in certain cases, it's it's just a bit more than a reflection. And my first aim actually um, is to really make videos about topics that generally are not very um, um, known, um, not even in their own existence, and this is the, the, the real, really the matter, uh, in, 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 um, in popular culture. Now, I, I just use this um <laughs> uh, figure of speech of popular culture, and I've been repeating it uh, uh, actually a lot of times in, in the last times. So what do I mean by popular culture? Well, um, first of all, since I make these videos on YouTube, um, chiefly YouTube, I, I think YouTube is, is indeed a, a huge, monstrous thing uh, in terms of quantity, of size, of numbers of videos, and um, I've always been fascinated by social networks in terms of um, um, sociological behaviors, and um, and since I got interested myself into history, um, because this is how it began, I've always, but by watching YouTube videos, I've always said, oh my god, but um, either they were too simplistic um, and short, because uh, I think that there are certain topics that maybe you can spread, uh, spread awareness about, about, but without really um, getting to the point of, of what it is. Like, um, now I don't want to make um, singular examples, but in general, mm, think about great topics that can exist out there of any kind. If you make a, a three minutes video, maybe you can get, b because it's, uh, first of all, there is to add, we will arrive to this now, to the fact that Mm, those videos generally are meant to be extremely entertaining, I also from a visual point of view. Uh, my videos aren't, although I must say, I um, people criticize this. Uh, there, there are essentially two things that have been criticized for my video, in my video making. Uh, first of all, my voice. Uh, actually, also the video length, uh, but the, the two things combined similarly are <laughs> um, 
a bit uh, boring because uh, I suspect that many of you fall asleep <laughs> when when I get uh, right, I read any of these statistics that I don't know you have watched the entire I don't know one hour and a half video I suspect you just fell asleep on the keyboard well I hope not so but just saying just meaning that mm, most of all I can't keep up um, my uh, my tone of voice um, um, so up uh, really and loud as I do at the beginning of, of the video. I simply lack the energies for doing that and I really challenge everyone who, who wants to speak for, for more than an one hour to, to uh, sound always ener uh, ener energetic and energetic, let's say, um, uh, and, and still deliver, um, um, you know, the message effectively because it's tiring to talk uh, for a long time and in 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 a sort of hyped uh, fashion. I could take drugs, but I don't think it's <laughs> it's necessary and uh, not very very positive in general. So I I I, uh, I think you will have to take this as it is. But secondly, uh, my videos are not very graphically elaborated. Um, so I took this crit uh, this. Uh, to critiques very very seriously um, because I realize it's, it's very important and, and, and many of you have actually I mean there is a certain um, incidence of this um, of these critiques in even in in, in comments that were uh, definitely appreciating the dual thing so for me they're very important but um, as I was saying for the voice I, I can't really that much um, I could better my English that is I stutter and, and mumble too much and indeed I shouldn't um, if I want to be to sound entertaining also because I, I by the way I lose a lot of time by stopping so much and by over complicating syntax sometimes or not even getting actually to the point aside from the vocabulary that might sometimes you 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 hear that I stop and type uh, in word reference the, to, to find it the, the, the exact um, translation for what I want to say um, but relatively to graphics I'm sorry uh, especially about this because I realized that a video should be uh, also about visual thing it's it's actually where the uh, the name comes from um, I try to put this um, background that uh, I choose with great care telling the truth because um, not just I want them to be entertaining but also historically correct so sometimes especially when I discuss about um, social history and uh, it's, it's even difficult to find them to find something that is really fitting. I mean, I'm not. Um, I want to be proper in things I say. I want to uh, to put pictures that actually represent what what I'm talking about in my topic of discussion. It's like when you see, um, I don't know, a, a video on uh, the 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 late Roman army with uh, a typical uh, early imperial uh, legionnaire. It, it doesn't make sense. I, I don't want to... My, my And secondly, however, I must say that um, I usually don't... I never re-watch or release in my, uh, to my videos, but uh, sometimes it happens that for checking if, if I uh, exported them correctly, because sometimes it happened I had a certain problems I have to I had to re-upload I realized that having this fixed background sometimes uh, for instance w if it is um, um, uh, a map or maybe a beautiful painting or uh, another beautiful picture of, of any sort I mean it can be um, together with my voice telling about that it's kind of um, it kind of makes you it's a sort of symbol that you progressively uh, get printed into your mind by, by watching it at those details, maybe concentrating on the meaning of that that picture, which I think is very important. Um, maybe this works only on 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 myself. I don't know, uh, but it, it, it usually that that's maybe a positive thing about it. The reason why I don't have this such elaborate graphical. Um, videos. It's not really because I couldn't uh, do that. I mean, I, I actually am capable of editing uh, at a decent level, um, but simply I don't have the time. So it's a strictly economical uh, thing uh, from the um, in its etymological point of view. That is, um, essentially, um, I make these videos. I, I 
and I don't spend. I mean, it takes me a lot, first of all, to prepare them because um, the, the the longest part is actually not preparing the video, but actually talking. Preparing the video can be can last uh, I don't know from half an hour to one hour in, in the cases of uh, of greatest maybe even less sometimes depending on the topic obviously because there are things they know better than others so it takes me less to 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 refresh them but um, complexively then I've got to write the video description that I think is is also pretty remunerative because um, I write a lot of things on it so people will google though they maybe they can get easier in, in they can bump easier more easily into that content uh, because of things I wrote uh, under it then I've got to share it now uh, if you're listening to me at this point you're probably uh, well you're probably a subscriber because I'm not gonna um, share this video uh, on but uh, the majority of views I'm getting it's from Facebook groups because I, I share um, act I actually share my videos into them and there are uh, I arrived to to so many Facebook groups that it, ta it even takes me I don't know f to five from five to ten minutes to actually post the video in every single uh, group but aside is um, uh, are the nuisance that uh, maybe you're not so interested about so really the graphical aspect is that there have been actually especially when I made uh, all, uh, up to now I made only two videos about battles in which I had to show a little bit the sequence, the tactical sequence uh, of the of the combat. But um, the um, and and there have been uh, other videos into which I inserted uh, other images. But it's still you know maybe me talking for for one hour and a half and splitting the video in three so that you have for half an hour just one still image. But anyway what I think I it's really important and I'm aware of this it's not that I discovered it later um, my uh, maybe this uh, are sort of bad as well as a challenge because um, I realized that for um, for now I can't do more than that but really the most important thing about my contents is actually what I tell um, and and I'm a bit against um, graphical entertainment not just into not not just into YouTube videos but in actual I don't know uh, uh, historically um, team history themed I don't know m movies or video games because to me really the 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 important part should be delivering a correct uh, historical information first and foremost then if there are special or graphical aspect uh, effects of sorts then, then can be kind of nice sometimes and even artistically praiseable but uh, it shouldn't be really um, about that and I realize that YouTube works uh, that I'm penalized by by this because um, there are much more um, uh, enticing videos out there but as I've been told just recently by a follower um, is that just, uh, 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 although I, I probably will never get as popular as other um, YouTube channels um, I will have more dedicated uh, followers um, because what I talk about is really something um, I want to also establish um, a bond with you through. Um, it's not simply about uh, telling the story, but it's r really commenting a lot of things together, and 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 that's what's really important for me. Then uh, it's also very complicated to actually explain what I want, what I'm doing with SharePoint. Maybe I, uh, I will try to explain it at the end of the video. Um, but for now, I wanted to get to the views. Uh, to tell you uh, really how this whole thing is going because uh, as long as I remained in the silent <laughs> majority of of um, of what or say of of, of, of watchers I have always been fascinated by knowing what YouTube statistics actually work like and uh, usually people are interested about it for <laughs> making money um, including me even though that's you know th yeah th that's the reason why I, I started a YouTube channel but it's not really about the money 
themselves. Um, fortunately, I, I can't live well <laughs> even without uh, the poor money, by the way, that you can make fr uh, from 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 uh, YouTube videos. But uh, that's not really important. What I'm really interested in, uh, relatively to the statistics, is how really this. Um, the spread of the information travels, really. And excuse me, I'll drink a little. Because and that's a bit how I began this. Um, uh, initially, last year, I, I didn't know how the whole thing worked. So part of the reason why I was mm, um, I came in here what starting making videos, um, actually I had another channel back in the past, but it was just I uploaded like one video or two. Um, it wasn't really about making a, a long-term thing, um, and um, and and I came like on 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 that channel because I I had let it go and uh, I ma I had made this video about um, um, if it, it was something about Roman Empire and I, I I I've seen that after seven I think seven years I had got like twenty thousand views, which is not a that much, but it's it was kind of fascinating because I, I didn't expect that, and they had let it go. I hadn't checked how the whole thing was going, and seemingly, you know, I said, okay, but so if that only worked with one video, let let's try to see how it works. Really, about something interesting like history, like in a sort of I'd say lesson form, but uh, I explained before what what I mean by lesson, so I don't want to sound cathedratic or or anything like that. Um, for the sake of uh, historical disclosure, uh, as I also was saying before, and and therefore I began very, can't say very timidly, but I mean I I, I j it was pretty cautious because I, I also wasn't capable really of talking that much. Mm, I must say I, I in spite of all the difficulties I still have in in, in my spoken English, I I still improve sensibly. Um, uh, pretty much since the beginning uh, of last year, and, um, and 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 last year actually, um, I began to do one video a, a week, um, the, uh, like a, a twenty minutes uh, video a, a week. And today, uh, if I had been told that in a few months I would have started to make. Um, uh, hours long videos every single day <laughs> I would have said oh my god and uh, the problem is I, I also have other things to do in life so uh, but I, it's it's becoming uh, honestly it's becoming like a sort of drug because it, it, it doesn't really cost me a lot yeah it's like two hours a day but uh, overall but uh, um, it's really it's really not that extremely demanding and as you know when I when I when I when I talk here, I it's like a chat, so it's, it's not that difficult. It's not this huge effort. So I I like doing it, objectively speaking, um, which is definitely better, by the way, than just speaking on my own. Which is in perspective, is, it's what why I'm <laughs> what I'm actually doing, but um, at, at least someone can can listen to it if he or she is interested in that. Um, and um, so there's been a s essentially a sharp uh, difference in trend because it's only from this, um, from last summer that I began to make videos uh, every day. And I had a definitely a steady growth. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna put in here some stats, but uh, it's been a pretty steady growth. Um, it, it's kind of weird because uh, every day th there are kind of oscillations, so it's not always, uh, it's not a linear trend. And um, there have been certain videos that have kind of rocketed uh, at a certain point over the top, but not excessively much. And now um, I fare essentially on the, say, uh, 80, um, on average 80 views a day. So most of this I owe it to um, to my Facebook sharing uh, because otherwise I I think I would ha I would have just just only one half of the whole thing both in terms of views and uh, video length and subscribers. 
So relatively to uh, the analytics, however, I find that there are extremely fascinating things to point out how uh, these views actually uh, work. So basically, um, the, the, ma the majority, um, as you know, on YouTube, the most important thing is not uh, really uh, the number of views and nor subscribers, actually, even if subscribers are usually um, con conceived, at least, as a as a pretty effective mm, um, indicator of, of the channel's wealth um, but um, it, what, what really matters is the video, uh, the watch length. So in terms of watch length, um, the, um, the, the biggest um, the biggest uh, slice, uh, let's say, the biggest segment of views, actually, uh, of video length, actually comes from um, the YouTube research. That means that um, if you came in here, there is exactly a... Um, excuse me, let's talk about views first and then video length because it's kind of more effective. So, first of all, if you are here now, uh, well, this this video is particular because I'm not going to share it on Facebook, but if you've come on my videos regularly for 30%, uh, you've, you've come from external um, external sites. That is uh, a 78% Facebook, an 11% uh, Google search, and the other, other, other things here I see, um, etc. Uh, then um, there is another 34 percent of views that came actually from the YouTube search, uh, which is kind of fascinating because they're almost equating. Actually, the um, r um, YouTube research is like uh, 2,400 views, and uh, Facebook ones uh, I think they're roughly the same uh, at this point. So. Um, this is interesting because the Facebook groups, no matter how they large or how much I can expand, there's still a sort of limited uh, pool of, of viewers compared to what will, will happen, especially in the future if I will continue making videos. Um, and, 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 and there are lots of people who simply Google, let's say, not Google, but YouTube, in the sense that they, on, on YouTube they search for this or that name and they come across, I don't know how much directly, honestly. Uh, onto uh, certain videos, and here I've got uh, Facebook even tells you the um, actually how uh, what it, uh, what people Google to arrive to my videos. I've got um, this uh, this equates to uh, I mean the top search uh, name uh, equates to one percent of the total, but in order of importance, the, um, people search for Sarmatians, migration period, Seljuk Turks. Hohenstaufen, Indo-European, Pope Innocent III, Ottoman Empire, Byzantine Empire, Bell of Crescent, etc. Um, so, evidently these people are searching chiefly for really what I'm providing them, which is not that obvious, because, um, my, as you know, my videos are a bit... Uh, they are generali gener a bit generalist uh, in terms of, of information delivery, but they're they're actually pretty specific topics usually. I uh, relatively to the shits and to the Sarmatians, for instance, that apparently got so many views. Um, the Drees, um, I always talked about them in perspective, not really made general videos about them. Uh, another niche that I was able to carve apparently was the one of the mi migration period, uh, because I made I made lot of uh, lots of videos about the uh, migration era, which I named in this way. Now I'm pretty sure in, in English in Anglophone countries, the term migration era is pretty uh, is used. At least I've been listening. Uh, I've been I, I, I've heard it somewhere. Maybe there were foreigners that weren't really really English uh, mother language, but uh, I thought actually that the majority of um, you know how. Anglophone people call it. It's either age of migration, of migration period, in fact, which is what they have been searching in here to arrive to that. But I realized, relatively to this, and with qu quite astonishingly, actually, uh, for me, that 
um, there are very few people, uh, uh, excuse me, a very few videos about the migration era. Um, and that if you if you search on, on YouTube migration era, what you get is essentially my videos. Uh, as first results, here I've got the beginning of migration era, then uh, my migration era playlist, and then the Vandals, the Shits and Sarmatians, the Roman Germanic relations, the Burgundians, the Huns, the off offensive weapons of migration era. So it's kind of interesting for me that if people um, type that and search that on YouTube, the first thing they get is my videos. And that's why well, I, I will probably make, uh, recently during the holidays, um, I have made uh, a couple of videos about w which were dedicated to the peoples of the migration era. Um, that is something, I, it's a bit external, th those are really um, uh, um, dedicated videos. That I, my, my video choice is really random, I've got a couple, actually ma uh, like 30 books, then I randomly choose which topic to talk about um, uh, on the base of them. Um, this video on migration here were, were still something uh, voluntary um, in a certain sense. I, I made them explicitly to, to to make this series about the various peoples of the migration era and I will keep doing that. And aside from just other migration era topics that I have uh, dedicated um, a playlist to at the moment. Um, so the interesting thing is really is that in terms of video uh, length, uh, in watch length, sorry, um, that is essentially that in spite, um, um, which is also pretty pretty normal, that is that, however, if you've never thought about it, it can be still interesting. Um, that the um, essentially the people who come from um, a an individual search of videos tend to uh, listen to these videos for a longer time than, for instance, the ones who click that on on face because I I post those on on Facebook groups. Um, and that, that make in fact the largest. Size of the uh, the largest uh, slice of, of the cake in terms of video uh, of, of watch length. There is roughly a 29 percent from those who come from a YouTube search, and a 25 percent um, from the external um, the external um, um, sites like Facebook. Uh, then there is also a, a rather consistent a uh, part like a 13 percent of, of watch with a very high um, average uh, video uh, watch length that come from the channel pages so I think these are the subscribers mostly or yeah probably um, I don't know maybe here, here it's navigational functions well, however, there is another part in general that is kind of views that, that that come because people even at least begin to gravitate ar around my channel in a way or in another. So I don't know if they're not subscribers, but they got from there from other people's um, channels because they have a public uh, list of um, of their uh, subscri pa of the pages they subscribe to. Um, there is also very long, uh, but um, uh, video length from the playlist, uh, uh, video length play uh, average from the playlist pages, which is kind of normal because playlists in the sense are meant to be watched, usually because you want to listen to that all along. But it's not really a big component. It makes a six percent. It's not bad, but it's not even massive. And uh, I surprisingly I go and there are pe this is interesting I had never thought about it that there are people out there basically create playlists with other people videos so mo some of my videos and I can't even tell you which one they are I think they're mostly religious yeah Vatican there is a playlist someone made it called Vatican first second and trend and uh, I made some videos about uh, medieval mostly medieval um, 
Christian history, so that they took that and put it in there. So there are people who were watching my video from there. It's kind of fascinating, and I hope that this will this will increase because <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice. I I love to 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 see how these things actually work in terms of maths, statistics. Uh, then it's fascinating uh, when it says um, uh, indirect or unknown source. I don't know. Maybe there is someone from from Mars that is watching my videos. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, and um, that's more more or less the thing. But considering I uh, this is the number two hundred video, I is it really a good result? Well, I'll tell you what, probably in terms of views, not really not, because um, the, um, I mean, let's be frank about this, it's very difficult to, s to start a successful YouTube channel, very, very difficult, and it's actually as difficult I, I, as I pictured myself before m starting it, um, it's difficult for many reasons. Um, that I won't be explaining because uh, they even involve certain, I don't know, mm, uh, philosophy of, of economics and stuff like that. <laughs> Maybe you're not interested, but um, the um, it's really difficult to for someone to to spend time to watch your videos. Let's be frank about it. I don't have time to watch other people's videos. Um, I realize um, it, there is a lot of people out there. Uh, by the way, something I discovered only recently is the uh, age, um, uh, this should be on demography, yeah, demography here, I've got an astonishingly 92% of, first of all, they are all males, which I, thi I think it's, it happens, I'm sure it's plenty of women out there who watch my videos, because I see that from Facebook groups, that I appreciate them. But I suspected maybe on, on, on YouTube, I don't remember when I had to set uh, the gender, personally. Uh, so it might be that th this is being skipped, because here I see a 90% men and 0% and women, but uh, this means that there is even an 8% of un essentially unknown. So I don't know, maybe it's mostly males, probably. Also because when I talk about military history, I think in general there are, there are more... Um, uh, 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 you know, in general, people who like military history a bit of a uh, sort of uh, psychopathic uh, males, <laughs> including myself. I, I don't know. Well, I'm I'm not a psychopath, I think, but um, yeah. And but but what especially uh, I was interested by is that most of these people. Ah, no, wait. I, uh, this is the thing. I, I, it would be a, a cent for cent male viewers, but 92 for cent are into this age band between t uh, 18 and 24 years old and an 8% in, in a, this other part from 25 to 34 years old and basically there is no one else either younger or older um, which kind of makes sense because I think that the topics I discuss are first of all I'm, I'm too into, into this uh, band in terms of age, so it, it, it's not surprising because I think that this um, this age group actually fits um, with with the same reason for why I m am making these videos. Uh, so it's a sort of there is a, a reciprocal relation in here. Uh, I think that this age group from 18 to 34, uh, 34 years old is actually the gen um, my generation, more or less, uh, of people who grew in that specific historical period that it's been, let's say, between the, let's say, the apex of TV culture and the beginning of the uh, internet, uh, and that got passionate about certain types of video games. Uh, that I were interested in, in, in warfare, in military history, in some sorts than other uh, age groups 
uh, historically haven't really been in, in that measure. But I, I, however, wouldn't like to speculate so much because I suspect that it, these uh, statistics are actually uh, falsed by certain things. Because I'm pretty sure that there are people who are also younger and older who are watching this from YouTube. So I guess that these statistics actually come only from the few people who who actually have their age published on, on YouTube. And it, it might as well depend on other factors. Maybe, I don't know, uh, the, the, the younger or the older ones are more reserved about their age. That might be an explanation. So, and even the fact that there are apparently no women, if, I think it doesn't make any, any, any sense. Um, uh, so I think it's really, uh, it was curious to discuss, but I think that it's, it's not really indicative of so these are really the statistics. In, t in terms of views, as I was saying, um, my channel probably is, is not very successful. But um, I kind of foresee this when I began the. Uh, I began to to. Um, I started the channel, let's say, and and I can't say that it's part of a broader strategy. Uh, the reason why my first of all getting. Uh, uh, seven thousand, say, say seven to three hundred uh, views and one hundred subscribers. I don't think it's really a few. I mean, I know channels that in this sense are much um, more successful than mine. But um, what I've seen is that there is uh, there's been a sharp rise of of, of subscribers uh, in. Uh, in a relatively few time. I mean, it's as if the, the, the channel had to gain uh, momentum in, in, in some way. Um, so what it, what it means is that, um, first of all, I still have to get to be uh, known out there. So that's why at every end of video, say, please share it, because I, the idea is that more that happens. I, I hate at asking that, honestly, because I'm a very kind of reserved and sensitive person and I, I I don't want to tell people other people what to do but hey since we live uh, here in the age of the internet maybe sharing it's still something pretty nauseous compared to other things to ask so um, why not I mean if you really like this uh, I've seen there are I've got just a very few um, uh, sharing uh, shares the only truth like uh, 35 here it says in the stats well, the, on 200 views, it's not really a few, but obviously it's nothing um, colossal at all. Excuse me, and drink a little again. I'm always <laughs> almost finished water now. Um, I hope to conclude the video before I, I die of thirst. Um, so what we're saying is that it's as if the channel was gaining momentum. I, I've been told that when you reach 100 subscribers, it's basically that the channel is kind of grow on its own, which I've always found weird. I mean, we're not talking about uh, uh, atoms uh, <laughs> with a critical mass, I don't know, after which there is a, uh, a nuclear fiction. But uh, f but uh, I, I think that... Um, it really depends on every channel, but definitely having 100 subscribers means that there are enough people there who were kind of mm, uh, definitely also producing a, a fallout in some way. If anything, as I was saying before, if you have your published, um, if you have your, um, um, you have set on public the, the, the channel you, sub you subscribe to, I, I figure in there, so maybe other people watch. So th this is really how it works. Um, but what I care the most about this is noticing that uh, not having a really a great amount of views per video, I still have a great amount of subscriber per video. Mm. And there is essentially uh, one subscriber every two videos. That it's, it's not really bad, um, and it's increasing in proportion even more than views. Um, um, so it's um, it's fascinating, and um, I hope to keep growing, of course. But and I want to thank you for again for for having made this possible because I'm. 
<laughs> I really couldn't even believe that. Uh, even if it's not a huge result, but it's still very meaningful to, to, to read the number and say, okay, those are all people. Just, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking about you sometimes um, in, I in a room. I mean, 100 people uh, are a lot. And uh, it, it would be nice even to, to see you, to, to, to know you personally, because it's kind of... Uh, and um, what else to say? Oh, yeah, wh why am I making this? Uh, or better, ah, yeah, no, well... Uh, about the contents, this is also interesting. Um, there are essentially, um, as as the most perceptive of you probably have not already noticed, I'm making a uh, aside from having a, s a sort of cyclical um, sequence of uh, of of historical topics. I I'm making one uh, uh, two types of videos essentially that I alternate uh, day by day. Um, First, a, a general mm, uh, medieval history video, and then a military history video. So, I, I have something to say about the two things, because relatively to the, to the mm, uh, medieval history videos, I am a bit disappointed. Um, not because uh, I didn't get enough views or the views I expected to, but chiefly in relation to others. I mean. Um, my general medieval history videos are meant uh, to be part of a greater uh, introduction to the Middle Ages uh, as a guide, um, and and sometimes I discuss what what see what appears to be very uh, very niche topics. But telling the truth, and and I realize that from from the views actually, because there are certain videos that if I make, I get immediately maybe. More than 100 views. For instance, the, the one of the on, on the migration era peoples got a huge success. I got lots of views immediately sh by sharing them in in the same exact uh, uh, historical uh, fa uh, Facebook uh, history groups. Then I write, uh, I, I make videos that that I particularly um, like in the sense that I, I don't really like all the videos I make. There are some I think they're not well done. Um, in, into which I, I didn't express myself properly, etc. Um, and it's uh, among some of the best I've done, uh, there are, for instance, the ones about medieval society, medieval economy. That that I know. I, I even said that usually in the at the beginning of the videos, they definitely can, may sound they, they may sound boring as topics, but telling the truth, they're so fascinating. You have to think that I'm learning these things, w um, or refreshing them at least, while talking about them with you. Because maybe you make that... Uh, uh, you study these things at the beginning of uh, uh, the first classes at university, and then you don't look at them anymore. Instead, if you, when you come back, especially after having studied several years, you read them and you say, wow, this is fantastic. So it, I'm kind of disappointed when I see that uh, certain videos have lots of views simply because there is a, a historical prejudice about their uh, the topic and then something that maybe it's even better I mean, I mean it's more important historically speaking you can't say better made as videos even if they might be actually also but and, and they don't get views that that's that's saddening in part because they realize that most of the people that even are allegedly uh, interested in in history don't really care about most of it and this is very sad and actually this is the reason why I'm putting the, uh, these videos out there because uh, there is someone who watches them and I'm very thankful f uh, f um, towards them because to them because uh, it's maybe maybe they, they didn't w they, they were they weren't that interested either, probably, but they still uh, they still watch them, and and if I manage to leave them with something more, w with a with a thought more, with a with an idea more, with a concept more, that that is that really means everything to me. Uh, it means the world to me. If there is something I am doing this for, <laughs> sorry I get emotional by saying this, but I I love history. 
this is not something I, I say very often, but I love history because for me it's it's really everything. Um, it, it's really so important for us, for everybody, for and uh, and 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 if there is, if, if I manage uh, to to make even one person more interested about a certain topic, um, with a very poor exp linguistical means that I have, uh, it it really means more than any anything. I mean, I don't care whether I will ever make uh, a cent out of my videos. I, I, all I care really is about this, and so I I thank you very much for the attention that towards those topics because they, it has nothing to do with me. I'm just a mean, I'm just a medium, a, a deliverer. It's really about the history, the, uh, about the story I'm telling that I care about. Um, so, um, the... Um, um, so, uh, I'm a bit disappointed about those relatively to military history that in, in, in instead I kind of began later in time, I think I'm a bit more satisfied and also in here I realize I'm, uh, I'm more satisfied by the number of views than anything because I realize maybe people watch them because they think it's a more spectacular video or else. But even with military history, however, I'm very very happy because um, that's another topic that I love because uh, I am a polymologist, I, I study military history I mean, I might not be the best uh, expert out there in certain things, but it's really what I do as a living, and um, I and that uh, what I will keep doing as a living. And um, maybe um, I don't know uh, where I if I will make a video about why I, uh, I I I talk about military history, what what I think about it, or what I think is its importance really in today's world, especially. Um, it's, um, there are very deep, um, reasons for which I talk about military history that go beyond uh, the same history or the same history of warfare. It has to do really with a, uh, with a sense of, um, of civil duty that I think it is. And it has really nothing ideological. I mean, if you... If you know von Clausewitz, whose avatar I decided to, to pick up as for for Schwerpunkt, in fact, that is a Clausewitz in concept, uh, uh, it's um, you know you probably understand w why I talk about military history and what I think of military history, uh, mi military history like, and um, but um, generally speaking, I think that uh, the most immediate thing I can do by talking about military history is essentially making people more aware of the world they live in. I really try to understand warfare in, in a fashion that that um, that really escapes the, all the prejudices and stereotypes that exist relatively to war. Because uh, let's be frank about it. It's uh, warfare. Uh, the interest for war has, mm, say, prepotently um, uh, come back into the Western world uh, from 9/11, uh, essentially. Um, at least I clearly remember the day. Um, even if I'm not American, obviously, but uh, it's uh, it's as if I was I in that moment. And and that has made us um, realize that uh, the world had changed really, and the world we uh, I remember the world before 9/11, and I thought it was beautiful in in some ways. At least it was the apex of a certain. I still, uh, as a historian, I still consider that really a watershed, a turning point, um, uh, and I. Uh, as a kid of the 90s, I remember that pretty pretty well. But um, and I remember the the impact it had on me, um, which is probably one of the only things that today can really move me. Um, uh, I, uh, I I'm getting rather emotional recently <laughs> in my videos, but I'm not really that. I'm I'm a sensitive, um, very sensitive person indeed, but. 
what I mean is that I, by starting war and all, I've seen pictures of people cut in half, beheaded, and I kind of don't feel anything for that. If I think at 9-11, I, I, I get... I, I don't even know how to explain that, but what I mean is that from that moment onwards and associated together with, with other factors that maybe have also are, are more trivial, like the fact that, I don't know, um, that war has entered even as a sort of pop culture um, uh, uh, object of debate, uh, even for things, I don't know, think about all stupidly uh, i never pl uh, never played lots of video games in my life but think about all the kids uh, that are full grown men now um that uh, played in their youth call of duty and i don't know decided uh i don't know th they had this kind of picture of warfare as 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 a natural thing as something that wasn't so distant like could be for their fathers who were born out after World War II said, well, well, okay, in the U.S., you know, in other countries you had uh, other wars, but I'd say, especially in Europe, um, we, we lived in a sort of Pacific um, moment in which even m the military and, and militarism was, um, obviously in Western Europe, uh, was um, something more distant from society. Think about the great contest, um, I mean, in 1968, all the protests, the anti-war movements and all. Uh, war had been, up to that point, a little bit um, kind of uh, erased from the... Uh, I mean, there, there was a, a, more uh, a more consistently civilian world. Even if there were our grandparents that were um, World War II veterans or that had, uh, had lived the war, in some fashion, I, I have, uh, say, in their dramatic aspect, but still, in historical terms, very beautiful war memories. Um, and I realized that, that my grandparents lived through things that I personally cannot explain, because I haven't been living about and nor my parents can. But um, it, let's say that war ha today is, it has sadly come back. I mean, um, if you take, um, after World War II, if you... Uh, there is a chart that it's been it's been circulating on on the internet some 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 year ago that shows actually the um the amount of 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 um of of that people in the world by um killed by wars essentially in uh in in, in history and what you see is that after world war the second in spite of all the wars that still have been fought Basically, um, nuclear weapons have frozen uh, bloodshed. Um, so w we don't have any more the the uh, the tens of millions of dead in a few years. Uh, it would be uh, we don't know that anymore. It, it sounds pretty odd, but we s still live in in what, uh, probably in the most peaceful history, or at least in one of the most peaceful um, moments of the history. Uh, at this time, and in the early 2000s, uh, war has kind of come back in this sense. We have seen it even recently, even in Europe, we have the Ukrainian uh, crisis, we had uh, Syria is also pretty close, and um, there have been important conflicts, really, and uh, people have started, I also journalism, to, to, to look at that in a bit more, you know, more uh, at a more uh, to, uh, with a more comprehensive look at it. Also because the internet has really opened lots of sources. I think the war in Syria is the best documented uh, war in history now thanks to to camps, to I mean to, to everything you can find even on, on YouTube. Um, and still, so we uh, there is this paradox that we are put in front of a um, of an evidently um, warlike nature of, of ours at this point. It's, it's it's not concealed anymore. It's not something that happened in faraway places. You just heard TV news about it that already made a lot in order to spread awareness. Think about Vietnam um, or Desert Storm. Um, but um, the, the the idea is um, that today there is a as and in, as in other things for other social matters a a huge amount of information and still uh, a 
astonishingly elevated ignorance and unstructured knowledge and education about these things. And I think military history helps in, a, in, in filling this gap and trying to make people more aware of war, not, not because it's this or that war, because you want to comment against this or that politician or, or, or faction, or you, you, but it's really about understanding the very nature of war. Um, that is sim something people mostly don't have any idea of. I think that, mil that the war today is, even in, in historical terms, is so talking about uh, uh, wars that have been fought now for uh, I don't know maybe millennia ago. So something we w we're we're definitely not I I at least extremely directly influenced by um, anymore. But um, it's like a, a, a history of, 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 of fashion, a history of customs. I mean, if you, if you search for, I don't know, um, Roman... Uh, I, I will be talking about Roman military history, but even think about Middle Ages, that it's actually what I'm mostly expert on, medieval warfare. Um, w try t to make a simple search on Google, and assuming that Google is... contains essentially... Uh, or better addresses you to, to to what really exists in the world as a form of spontaneous um, expression of what people decided to put in, on the internet. Uh, you, you see that war is all about, I don't know, that costume, that cool guy that slurs the other, and uh, there is a very primitive um, understanding of war that is incidentally also very interesting to to explain anthropology and all because instinctively mankind is more fascinated by the warrior than the soldier um, which is al also a very disturbing thing uh, as I've seen uh, you know in um, this, this this idea that of, of the warrior that is kind of taking uh, over over the, the concept of citizen soldier which I find to be alarming uh, in many ways. I think our times are strikingly similar to other periods in times into which, I don't know, these new figures are needed, into which people are going to become increasingly more emotional and irrational, and therefore uh, they, they need these kind of heroic figures. Um, but really warfare is something that fortunately our civilization has kind of pretty deeply scoped and although there are things like I don't know culturalism that that is just rubbish but y you know if you study von Clausewitz essentially you understand what what war really is i mean we have the means to to study war as a broad political social phenomenon and and still we d we don't care we couldn't care less i mean people i think 95% of what people comment about war today is i don't know that that x country is evil because it's doing uh, is waging war in that country point from from all sides and, and this is really the, the the standard level of awareness that people have even in most developed countries where we live and um and it's embarrassing because it, it, I think it's an insult to the dignity of the average human intelligence, essentially, to 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 have so much and not caring, a, a, a not giving a, a damn. I mean, people have struggled for for millennia in order to get an education. I mean, to 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 get knowledge because they realized that that was the could better than living condition. Together, we don't care anymore. Today, just you have Netflix. That that's it. Uh, minimum wage. That's it. That's all you want. That's, that's kind of a, a, a civil regression, in my opinion. I, now, I probably have said something that that upsets <laughs> a, a, a wide amount of people. I, I have really nothing pro or against minimum wage, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm seeing that in some cases um, there is a, a direction of their responsabilization. People want in increasingly more rights without duties uh, that that uh, without responsibilities uh, so that is that that is disturbing because it's telling you that that's a, a civil decline 
in many ways uh, rights have no meaning without wi without obligations a right without obligation is not a right so um knowledge is in this sense is is a medicine uh, knowledge is tough knowledge is tough to bear I, it's not something you can get easily uh first of all and and w but but even after the struggle you 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 you've had I f for reaching it you realize it's a burden i mean the more you know the more you feel challenged the more you feel ethically uh committed you you uh, responsible in and uh, you realize what it all means and and therefore since history of warfare is the history of you know war war kills kills people so w i don't know what your moral standards are but what whatever it is uh war f uh, war is something you you have to know about if you want to w if you want to wait because there is this also this ideological approach for which i don't know war is uh, is either right or wrong but in, uh, just like history i realize most of the times i post a video about something that i'm talking people are not interested about it or they they not they don't get interested or um, particip participative about it because they 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 actually want to to know what it's told in that video but just because they think that it, uh, either it, it backs or doesn't their own their own beliefs this is the the collective hysteria we got to sometimes in videos which, which are explained uh, completely different things and people got crazy about i don't know because uh uh, because they 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 found that as a sort of moral I, to me history hi the uh, the beauty of history is that history is neutral history is a research um so then you after you made the research you can have your own personal considerations but what i would like to stress with 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 Schwerpunkt is that in order to to know history you have to struggle you you have to make a an effort to actually understand it uh, it doesn't come li like a story i think the majority of the people today conceives history like s silly tales like ah do you know what happened in that time in history that, that was so weird or crazy ah uh -huh, yeah really ah uh, yeah it's happening this way and then that's it that's it's a, it's a sort of joke and history is is extremely s uh, it's an extremely serious matter and it requires a lot of f uh, of commitment and effort to 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 try to figure that out in the first place and by the way the more you you learn hi about history the more you realize that um we have a very few certainties and that everything can be put in a certain sense to to certain amount of uh, under a certain amount of criticism in part that poses lots of problems and very meaningful ones very serious ones very ethically uh, challenging ones so i don't know this was a bit of a ramble and i don't but it was just trying to to make you understand why why you make this all and it's not easy i still have to to, to I don't know, I should dedicate a video about this. What I know what to add, I always <laughs> say this. Because I actually I, I would have a lot to add, but maybe this is not the right the right moment. So um what else could I say? So this in part answers actually the the question of why I'm making videos in here in the first place. But talking strictly about the channel in YouTube because this is as far as I will get to probably um now uh, is that I mean you can take my videos and basically um, liking them disliking them ignoring them um criticizing them and that's your business i mean that partially influences the way you make them but it's uh I it's really about as i was saying before about the sheer uh, amount of knowledge that i that i care about i mean as long as i gave you that food for thought then you can completely destroy it but but maybe y y if i got to you some extra to think on it uh, that that's my goal 
but relatively to the whole thing, I mean, I mean to the so-called community o of YouTube. I, I'm personally an individualist, so I don't understand, <laughs> I have very difficult, I, I have great difficulties to understand the concept of community. I mean, I'm not here to amuse you, uh, I'm not here to please you, I'm, I'm here just in the hope that th there will be some sort of positive fallout my thoughts on society also at my own benefit and uh, uh, obviously um, um, I, I I care about you humanly I mean I, I have a certain <laughs> a human warmth somewhere um, but uh, obviously I have my interests too and my interests will be are actually uh, yeah I would like to be paid one day for this and I know it's possible to do so it's, it's not gonna be a lot of money but I think another actually th the major w income I can have from from this YouTube channel is to be known out there and maybe getting some some opportunity of sort maybe I don't know participating uh, as um, as a historical consulant or or I don't know some sort of employment that uh, that I probably won't lack even without uh, YouTube but that can however give me more options so this is how I see it generally speaking it's it's pleasant for me to make these videos but um, there is partly also this need um, but that that comes later I think that if you want to make this uh, if I want to make this thing work, I have to do it just because I love doing that. And relatively to this, I, I would tell you that if you want to listen to my videos, um, I think you, you, you should have a certain, uh, let's say, uh, the idea is that if I, w I'll tell you how it works for me, if I, if I watch a video, um, on YouTube or anywhere else, uh, as, uh, as well as I read a, an article, or if I I, I, s I dedicate my time for that, um, it's as if I was paying for it, because time is probably the most precious resource of all. So that is essentially how I I, I look at the thing ethically speaking. Um, if you want to watch my videos, it, you have to realize it's as if you were paying to watch them. Mm? That's also what the, the video length is about. I, I don't talk uh, wor one hour, one hour and a half, even two hours for, for no reason. Because what I'm delivering you there is something complex that takes time to be understood. So I in the costs-benefit ratio, you, you have to decide for yourself. That That's where your individual stands and, and where I can't do anything about it. Uh, I don't remember why I started this, but yeah, this was the concept. Um, but let's say more generally, relatively to the channel, this is the point I, w I, I wanted to get to through this, is my hope, my greatest hope is that Schwerpunkt will become a sort of point of reference for many people to say uh, I have a let's say uh, I have a curiosity ab about that X topic maybe Schwerpunkt has told uh, uh, something about it um, and, and and while coming on that video uh, searching for it maybe you, you come across other videos I make and you get interested you, you know other things so I, I think of the positive effect that such material uh, such published material can can really have at the benefit of the community in in some way. Uh, I don't care where you, where you come from or what you think. I I, I think generally speaking that th th that we are all everybody on this heart and we have to 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 deal with that so um, together in in some form and at at mutual benefit if anything. Um, secondly. Um, my intent with this is that uh, is to and this is very important this this might sound actually a minor um, reason but for me at least it's very important and it's really about the um, 
making a having an impact in terms of historical awareness about certain specific topics. Mm. Um, Schwerpunkt is a challenge for me to put out there knowledge that I got from others. So I, I wasn't born taught. <laughs> um, so, but putting certain knowledge that I see that 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 in Western culture is not there. Uh, published more than much. This is a paradox. Popular culture discusses a very tiny fraction of what is his historically important. Um, people are obsessed by certain and they are always the same topics. This happened for for many reasons but chiefly because of historical ignorance. Mm -hmm when you realize that in a certain culture there is an obsession about a certain topic and that the rest is ignored you realize that there is something that doesn't work with that education i think we have we have come in, into a moment in history in which um, um our um old uh educational uh paradigmas are essentially uh, melting down it, it, they're they're fluidifying they're um, uh, and the um uh they're uh, liquefying essentially and and i think that uh, an increasing amount uh increasing a lot of people will will search for answers on the internet because we have this great meme that is free that is open uh, for anyone, uh, so I I say I conceive it as an extremely powerful mean of communication, and my great ob objective because I I usually, you know I wh when I discuss um, I sound a little bit uh, like the the nice guy right I, I've got this kind of um, quiet um, voice I I'm calm and all but most of you would be surprised to know that. I'm in in actual fact I'm a pretty ambitious and presumptuous person or um and uh, I have a uh, I've got a kind of dark side <laughs> I think like anyone else but in in part of this dark side I think had also certain positive effects uh, in, in practice and I would like to translate this cr criticism of mine into a into a mean to to spread awareness about certain things in history that you haven't been told but not in the you know in the um, in the um, delirating um, um plot conspiracy theory I, i'm all but that believe me uh, uh, i'm all over the country but really um trying to strengthen together with historical awareness also much else in terms of uh you know of 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 responsibility because uh, as I was saying before I think knowing history is essentially becoming responsible mm -hmm. and and therefore if if I will manage to do that I, I I'm being a bit hermetic in here but um I think most of you actually guess what I uh, what I'm talking about. Just, uh, j just one of you commented um, some days ago that he liked my videos because essentially my my um, uh, topic choice is uh, oriented towards discussing certain times and spaces that in Western culture or popular culture are usually ignored, and I'm talking still about uh, the same Western world. For instance, I I talk about about uh, about Italy and Germany, and and this person uh, was enthusiastic about it because he said that that's all what he wanted. Uh, uh, I don't need to to know everything uh, about Vikings. I need to know uh, and and nothing else. I need to know what happened elsewhere. I need to know what happened beyond the Hundred Years' War, I need to know what happened be and, and, and beyond the, 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 the William Conqueror uh, and, and, and 
yeah, I, I realize that this form of criticism is, is a bit, I mean, from my side, but this person had all the right to say this, but from my side, as a content deliverer, I think I shouldn't indulge in this criticism. Uh, because I don't want to say that, I don't know, the Vikings or the Hundred Years' War or, or, or the Norman Conquest of England were are not important, because as a matter of fact, were some of the most important things in the Middle Ages. What I'm saying is that, aside from those, objectively, people ignore, tend to ignore, lots of other important things that, that were actually even more important, most of the cases, than, than these episodes. For no reason, and, and or, or better, th there is reason but for that, but no justification. So this is why I, I essentially want to discuss about that. Uh, and that's why on my channel you will never find something I talk about because I, I hope to, you know, just to, uh, to bend to that particular econo economical uh, interest or that uh, uh, personal gain. Uh, I, I consider my personal gain your personal gain. Or better, and, and vice versa, because what you learn is gonna be useful for me as well. Um, and this is how I conceive the whole thing, really. Uh, I know it sounds messy now. I probably don't explain myself properly, but um, that's really what I want to do. I want to mm, to to show the the richness of history as an activity proper that is to to research and not to stop to what you're fed with by by those instead who want to make money essentially about over people uh, an awareness in practicals well this is getting too long <laughs> I guess and I think I'm, I'm it's also pretty boring to listen to me <laughs> about uh, talking about these topics. I, I know I'm uh, without historical context, I'm not that interesting. Um, so for please forgive me about this. Um, but in general, I I I I thank you very much again for this. Um, um, I thank you very much for all the views uh, you gave to my to my channel, all the uh, the days spent listening to my videos because I, I, I think the whole video length, the whole uh, watch length adds up to 21 days. Wow! <laughs> Obviously that's diluted. Actually, oh, this is another da uh, datum I didn't comment. The, the, the average uh, watch length is uh, more than four minutes, as a matter of fact. Usually YouTube videos are around three minutes. So this is obviously dictated by the fact that my videos uh, are much longer than the average, so people tend to follow them for, for a longer time. But this means that, however, still, in, uh, relatively to your individual commitment, that's, that's still uh, a great thing to know, and I thank you very much for this as well. Um, I thank you very much for all the comments, for all the likes, for all the dislikes, for all the negative things you you might think, because uh, that are part of the debate. So uh, I uh, I realize that uh, uh, first of all I I will never, you know, I, I make mistakes all the time. So uh, and I'm uh, I'm pretty aware of this. So um, please uh, I want of everything I can ask you uh, to do. I, w I, I wouldn't like to ask you anything, but if there is one f thing I really ask you not to do is to believe that what I say is the truth. Never ever. And, and never think that anyone has the truth. Mm? Because nobody has. But always try to understand in into which direction the truth is. Because the tru truth does exist, and it's only one. And if you go into one direction, a person goes in the other one, in the opposite one, there is something that doesn't work. You might be both wrong, but definitely if there is uh, one truth, uh, it's only one person that, that has the hope of getting there. Uh, the other even if they can't. So um, please be always aware, be, be always opened, that is, 
try to listen really to every perspective never think that you have only one a right one even when you're truly convinced of that and that's probably the moment in which you w you should start to worrying about it because that can't do you but good believe me and and please um try to understand me as as really an ordinary person like you uh, as anybody else can be never think I'm here to teach you something because I couldn't bear that <laughs> believe me uh, I'm, I don't want to be that and uh, this is the fact that I talk so much and that I discuss so much about history it's, it's just because I love it and uh, I think I want to transmit my love for history then you you can learn in a different way you can appreciate things you can criticize me you can do whatever you want but please uh, in this sense do not believe I'm doing it for enforcing something on you because I never do that and 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 I if I if I, uh, I I wouldn't be able to to make these videos if I uh, if I ever thought something like that because I make these videos with the great hope that you as a fellow human can can um, criticize autonomously what I'm talking about a and, and that's really the important the most important thing probably of all and uh, I leave wi with this idea constantly and 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 perhaps if I know something about history j just a tiny bit I think it's all thanks to to that and not to have believed blindly w what other people told me Um, so, um, I don't know what, what else to add, and, um, uh, I can't tell you, uh, how long will I keep doing this? I, I don't know, really. Um, uh, I must say that sometimes it's, it's tough. Um, I mean, up to now it's, it's not really been that tough, because, but making a video every day, it's, um, I, I realize nobody is asking me for that, because probably most of you are not really even following me that, that frequently. Um, and, um, also because it takes a lot of, of hours just listen to me. I'm doing this crazy l roller coaster simply because I believe that, uh, the more videos I make, uh, in a in a certain amount of time, always, uh, obviously, always looking at about qual the quality of the contents. Um, uh, the better it is, obviously, uh, the quicker the quicker I will I, uh, I will grow. Um, so uh, there are I think I have I've considered the really the amount of videos I can do. I I I can have like other twenty years <laughs> for doing that because I, I I think that I'm not even in the beginning of all the things I want to say. Um, and um, so there are other two factors that can hamper this. The first one is either I die or I won't be able to talk or to read anymore something like that so that can happen um, and uh, there is n really not much to say about this uh, the second one is probably uh, yeah the moral resources it is true I could get tired of this um, and um, it, it, it this is not really on you I mean even if you will not follow me anymore for any reason I don't know because you don't like me or uh, you find me boring. I, I don't care. Uh, I, I, what I care about is that out there there are these historical contents that anyone that has the curiosity can access. This is really the, the idea of, of, of how Schwerpunkt is, is meant to, to work. It's like a, a big encyclopedia that maybe you, you can't let lay in there covered in dust but just knowing that, that it's there um, and that if you open it you, you, you can always learn new things um, uh, if you want um, mm, but uh, it is true I might get tired I mean I, I'm um, uh, up to now I'm kind of I, I have my res moral resources it might happen I don't know for instance in the, in the next weeks I might start doing uh, certain uh, things uh, now and tell you 
uh, I won't bother you with telling what it is, but it, it, I might be not pausing every single day, or maybe one day we'll get tired um, and I will pause only once a week. Uh, this summer when I went in, into v in vacations, there have been some weeks I haven't posted anything. Um, so it's kind of normal, I guess. But I can tell you that uh, if I... I promise you that, w that I will continue doing this. Um, I promise this to all the people who, who, who appreciated me uh, in a way or in another, even if you're just, if you were just one person, I, I, I would do that for you. Um, you are now more than 100, and at least, plus other people who watch me, uh, maybe regularly, but they're, they're not, sus they have not subscribed. So, uh, mm, just, just know that I, I, I think uh, that you are there, so it's not just about m me and what I'm doing, I, I really care. Um, uh, about you keeping following me uh, for the reasons that I explained to I tried to explain at least today. Um, so uh, I want I want continue now. Um, I just want to um, wish you a great time. Uh, I hope this, especially this new year, will bring you so many beautiful things. Um, uh, today I was happy to talk with you because yesterday actually wasn't such a great day for me. Um, but um, this is what I mean. I think you give Schwerpunkt gives me one reason to go on in things. You know, it, it gives me strength, and it, it, it's really important. Uh, and um, and I hope that it can give you something more. Uh, every day, uh, just to 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 make life more interesting, um, and that's essentially it. So I, as always, I thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, I wish you a nice time, and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>